All right, everybody. Thanks for joining this morning. I'm a little bit late this morning, but uh, we're here today, and we're gonna we're gonna ask the Lord to uh, bless this this time we have together. And uh, I'd like for you to have a special request for a dear friend, and uh, she she needs the Lord in a in a mighty way in her body today. She is in the hospital uh, in the Fort Wayne, Indiana area. And I would just ask you to join with me in prayer this morning. And God, we just pray that you would heal um, the body, Lord, that you would touch God, that you would move in a mighty way. God, we know that you're doing something great and greater than just the, the situation at hand. God, we know that you're pulling family, God, you're You're moving, God, on prayer, God, that was requested, God. We know, God, that all things work together for the good, for those who love the Lord and are the call according to your purpose and glory. God, we thank you, Jesus, this morning, God, that you are intervening, God, that you are answering prayers, God, and we have confidence, God, in the things that we asked you, Lord, and we just pray, God, for a healing, God, for a a moving of your spirit, and, 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 Lord, for all those involved, their families, God, we just pray that you would mightily move, God, in this situation, this circumstance, Lord. We pray, God, that you would bless this sermon today, this, this teaching, God, this, this word of truth, God, that you have laid on your servant's heart, Lord, to, to spread forth, God. And I thank you, Lord, for that. Lord, I, I am nothing, God. You are everything. And we just pray and thank you in the name of of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise God, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I know you don't have to, you don't have to take the time to to listen to any of this stuff. And, 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 you know, the Lord will bless you. Um, It is his word. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord. Amen. Comes forth and, and we, we glorify him. Amen. Praise God. And I just wanted to go through a few things here this morning. Uh, we have titled this life, um, the word that I have spoken, the same shall judge you in the last day. Amen. That is what it's all about this morning. That is what it's all about this morning. Amen. So um, I just want to make sure that this thing is uh, recording right here. So I believe we're we're good. Amen. Yes. All right. So anyhow. Uh, Let's, let's start out here again, John 12 and 48. Praise God. And let me, let me move uh, these scriptures here. We start out John 12 and 48. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Now, this is probably the most profound scripture in the Bible. Now, why do I say that? This is red letters of Jesus Christ. This is, this says that the word that Jesus spoke will judge us in the last day. It is the ruler, my friend. It is the measuring stick. It is the one and only thing that will allow us access or denied access. So we, we will either get to heaven through the words of Jesus Christ or we will not make it to heaven through the words of Jesus Christ. He said his word is a two-edged sword. It's, it's, it's cutting both coming and going. It can give life, but it can also take life. And my friend, we must, amen, follow the words of Jesus Christ. We are here today, and I tell you that there is nothing, I mean zero, more important than following the words of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we're going to go through some scriptures this morning, and and, and I just, I want you to, to really take this to heart. His word shall not pass away. He said not all things shall pass away, but his word will not. Amen. All will be fulfilled. And, and if you're a believer, that's, that's the most critical thing that you can believe is that he 
is the word. Amen. And so, anyhow, uh, as, as we look here, Deuteronomy 30 and 19, choose life. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Amen. We are here today to choose life. Amen. I've come to choose life today. I want the word of God to be my friend. I want to line up to that word of God. Amen. Because I want to go to heaven. Amen. And so who is Jesus today? You know, I, I, I really, I was going to, let me see here. I don't know if I have it, but um, I did post it on Facebook and uh, I, I'll get that to you if you, if you would like to see it. Um, but I was watching the news the other day and, and one of the people was list, was talking, interviewing a rabbi and said, what, what is the, the, your stance on the end times and stuff? And he, he began to talk about Jesus saying Jesus was really taken with the end times. That's what this, this uh, rabbi was saying. And he said, but we, we don't see Jesus as divine. Amen. And, and I thought, wow, you know, that's exactly what, what we had been talking about is, is that they do not believe Jesus to be divine. Amen. It's, it's not what, what they do. And uh, so in that, they're, they're in part, Paul says, in darkness. Amen. It, it's not going to be they're not going to see what's what's right, and uh, as I was I was talking with uh, someone, uh, the acquaintance that I met, and we were talking, and he's he studied uh, he's studying the the Torah and, and and all this. He's really into all that, and uh, I, I have talked with him, and and I think we've we've come to some agreement, I believe, to. Uh, who Jesus is and, and, and the, the old law versus the new, um, I believe we're on the same track. We're, we're very close in some things, but it, it was a little, little, uh, I was kind of taking it a little different way than, than what I guess it was saying to begin with. Um, but anyhow, let me, let me see. I, I have this here and I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Um, here actually you know what i think we i can get it for you uh, but anyhow as as i was talking to to this person we uh i was letting him know he was talking about well maybe you need to talk to the rabbi and i, I said well um i i really feel that the scripture teaches right now that the rabbis the jewish um Folks that are still under the law are in part in the darkness. And I, I would not take really a whole lot of um, validity for the New Testament meanings um, because they are in part uh, in the darkness, uh, because they reject Jesus, and they still do to this day. And, and let, me, let me just uh, see if I can bring that up real quick. Uh, all right, let's try it again here. Familiar with the, the Jewish faith, Armageddon, the end of days. What is what does the Jewish holy book say about about how that's all going to go down? Well, let's, let's remember, Jesus was a Jew, and Jesus was a Jew who, from our perspective, was deeply influenced by end of time prophecies. We don't see Jesus as divine, but we absolutely see Jesus as a Jewish leader who fought the persecution and oppression of the Romans. Remember, he was put to death. I may not be very intimately familiar with the, the Jewish faith. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Know. He, he said they, they, they don't see they Jesus, don't see Jesus, Jesus as, as divine. deeply influenced by end of time prophecies. We don't see Jesus as divine, but we absolutely see Jesus as a Jewish leader who fought the persecution and oppression of the Romans.
All right, so they, uh, so they, they don't they see don't Jesus, see Jesus as, divine. as divine. Um, all right. Let me make sure that you can still hear me here. All right, so, yeah, they don't see Jesus as divine, he said. And, and that is, that is the, the issue here today. Um, let's get back over here. Um, but I just wanted to bring that, bring that out. Um, and, and, and those that are following that old law, trying to mix it, we, we've, we've talked about this uh, believe last week and maybe even a little bit the, last, the week before. Um, check that out. Listen to it. One of the things I wanted to talk about and, and show you today is, is, you know, from the garden, the sin of man, Adam and Eve, uh, the Lord made a promise. God made the promise and said, the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent. Um, as, as the woman said, the, the serpent beguiled me into sinning. Um, and, and so the Lord made a promise that the seed of the woman would, would bruise the head of the serpent. And that one day, um, things would change. They would be turned around. And this was a prophecy then of, of, of Jesus. And everything from that moment on uh, was all about Jesus. Everything from there, the Old Testament, the Bible said that the old law is types and shadows of things to come. It is um, patterns, amen, that the Bible said it, the old law brings us to Christ. And, and what do we mean by that? He brings us, the, the old law brings us to Christ. Um, Hebrews 11 and, and, and 39 and 40, you could read that, and it talks about that, that all those that, that had come before us, those that had a good report with God, amen, that they, they saw their, their dead risen again, and, and through faith and by faith, amen, they had a good report. And the Bible says ends up saying with that that, they, without us, could not be made perfect. And what did that mean? That promise, that promise that Jesus came. And, and, and Paul talks about Hebrews, and, and, and we're going we're gonna to get into some of that. But I want to tell you this morning that, that Jesus is everything and all that you need this morning. There is no way beside Jesus. There is no other way that you can go to heaven. There is none other name under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. Acts 4 and 12. Amen. We, we cannot, whatever you do in word or in deed, Colossians 3 and 17, do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. You know why that name? Because God chose that name, and it's a work. It is a body, a sacrifice that he called Jesus Christ the sacrifice, the Messiah come. Amen. He said, he come, he come to save his own, but they received him not. They rejected him. Amen. So what, one of the things I, I want you to know that he is the I am. He's the I am of the Old Testament. When Abraham uh, said, Lord, who shall I t say that sent me? And he said, I am has sent you. You tell him that the I am has sent you. Amen. And Jesus, when he was he was trying to be, they were trying to overthrow him, the scribes and Pharisees, and they they asked him, and 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 he he said, well, before Moses was, I am. And they said, you're not yet fifty years old, and you're saying that you knew Moses back in the day. And they went to stone him because they knew exactly what he just said. He just said he was God. I am. They knew who I am was. Amen. So. So when we look, I want you to understand and know life. Life this morning is the most precious thing that we can seek after, and that is only in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise God. Life. Do you want life today? You know, they're searching all over the place right now. The scientists, amen, the, the, the everybody is, is looking for life. They want it more abundantly. They're wanting to be able to, to extend life. They don't have, everybody is going to die. All these folks are going to the grave, but they are trying their best in scientific ways 
from from technology every way they can. They've got what's called CERN. Uh, they're trying to pull from a from a uh, a dark hole, uh, a spirit of life. They are trying to find the way of life, and it only comes through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That is life. He is life. Amen. So when 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 you look, he is our only way. Amen. So he said, I am the way. Amen. The truth, the life. He said, I'm the bread of life. I'm the light of the world. Amen. He said, I am the good shepherd. He said, I am the resurrection. Amen. I am the true vine. He said, I will bring you peace. Amen. He was, is, and is to come. He's the rose of Sharon. He's the lily of the valley. Amen. He's that bright and morning star. Amen. He's the offspring of David. Praise God. He's the rest. He's the comforter. He's the bridegroom. He's the husbandman. He's the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings, my friend. He's the Messiah. He has all power. Amen. He was made flesh. Amen. The word. He was in the beginning with God, was God, and the same was in the beginning with God. And without him was not anything made that was made. Praise God. Amen. John 1 and 1, you'll find that. Praise God. He is the Spirit. He is the Son. He is the Father. Amen. He told Philip, <laughs> Philip, I've been not so long time with you. How say, show us the Father. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Amen. Praise God. He, he is that promise. Amen. That was, that was given in, in Genesis in the garden. He is that promise to come. He is the Messiah. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the beginning. He's the end. He's omnipotent. Amen. He's omnipresent. He's omnipotent. Amen. Omnipotent. Amen. Praise God. He's the rock. He's the chief cornerstone. Praise God. Amen. He's the high priest. Amen. Who in all points was tempted like as we are. Yet he was without sin. Praise God. He is that high priest. He's the judge. He's the righteous judge, amen. He's the mercy, he's the grace, amen. The Bible said the law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ, amen. He's that mercy, praise God. He's that vengeance, amen. He is the spirit of prophecy, amen. Praise God. He said all the things that Jesus did, there's not enough room in the world of the books that should have been written of him. Amen. So I just want you to know this morning, if you've got Jesus, you have life. Amen. He's the true vine, praise God. He's the one that we need to seek after. Amen. He is the only one that we need to seek after. In him is life. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We need to be confident in Christ. Amen. If you don't have Christ, you don't have God. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. He said, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen. That's John 1, 27. You can see it up there on the screen. Amen. I said, therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. John 8, 24. Praise God. Hebrews 4 and 1. Let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. His rest, amen, is his spirit. His spirit, the Holy Ghost, amen. He said in Acts 1 and 8, ye shall receive power after that. The Holy Ghost has come upon you, praise God. And that's where we find him, amen. That's where we become the sons of God, amen. Praise God, praise God. Prophecy of the Messiah. Amen. Let me uh, look here. Let me take this over. That's something I wanted to share with you all. Um, and, and, and basically, where Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Jesus alone can sustain us. The light of the world, he said he was. Jesus, the original eternal source of light. Um, let me, let me, let me just go here. I found this on, uh, Christianity.com and I wanted to kind of, kind of share it a, a minute with you.
but it says why I am. Jesus was especially self-revealing in his I am statements found in the Gospels, specifically in the book of John. These descriptive statements explain the character and nature of God through the significant phrases that all begin with I am. These are not Jesus' only statements about himself, but they stand out in a unique way. This is what the, the writer of, of, of this uh, article is saying. Although we cannot comprehend the complexities of what God is, as in all-powerful, all-present, all-knowing, the great thing is that we can know who he is because he has revealed himself to us through his son, Jesus Christ. The God of the universe is not just some mysterious voice behind a curtain. He is a relational being that we can know personally. He is Emmanuel, which means God with us. Really, Jesus coming was the culmination of God already revealing himself to us in so many ways. Amen. So just the first time it appears, talking about the I am statement, was in, in the Old Testament, Exodus 3 and 14 where God told a man named Moses to go to the evil Pharaoh and demand that Hebrew people be allowed to leave their slavery. Um, and when Moses asked, who can I say that sent me? And he said, what? He asked God's name and he said, I am. Just tell him that I am. And, and the significance of that I am was, was going to be, he is the present. Whatever you need, when you need it, he is there. He is just the I am. And if you can make him your I am, amen, you will have all that you need, praise God. So I just wanted to share that part of it with you. Let me get back over here. And so as we, I just thought it was pretty interesting that a normally otherwise uh, Trinitarian um, website magazine uh, would 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 acknowledge that Jesus proclaimed to be God, and uh, indeed he is. He he told he told Philip that have I been so long time with you? How say thou show us the Father? Amen. So anyhow, prophecy of the Messiah, the Savior. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense and reward. When you're looking at Hebrew, oh, Jesus is talking to the Hebrews, and, and Hebrew is Hebrew. Uh, these folks were in, uh, basically in the law, kind of like the, the, the Jewish guy that I played the video for you heard earlier. Um, they were, were staunch in the law of Moses, the Torah, we call it. Um, so in that, Paul had a uphill battle, so to speak. This, this new covenant of Jesus had to be explained to them and, and brought to them that they would understand and learn and, and, and switch over from the old law to the grace, amen, and truth that came with Jesus Christ, amen. It was not an option. You could not not come into the grace of Jesus. This was the time he said, this is the day of salvation, amen. If any man will hear my voice, if you will believe me, he's saying, then, then I will come into him and sup with him and he with me, amen. You've got to hear his voice. You've got to obey that call, amen. He said, if you don't, if you don't uh, betray, and I say betray, with you, you put away mother, father, brother, sister, all your, your old thoughts, Amen. Including that old law of Moses. You don't put that away. You're not worthy of me, he said. You've, you've got to pick up your cross. You've got to pick up those things that, that prevent you from coming to Christ. Amen. So cast not away, Paul tells them, their, their confidence, which hath great recompense or reward. Amen. And, and Isaiah 9 and 6, it, it, it talked about the forecoming, the prophecy of Jesus the coming of the great Messiah. They missed him, my friend. We cannot miss him today. Amen. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Amen. Did you catch those titles? Amen. Did you 
Did you t catch what the writer is saying here? He was the mighty God, amen. And we just read Emmanuel being interpreted that God is with us, amen. Praise God. We are looking at the all power Savior, amen. Praise God. Matthew 1 and 21 said, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. And I want to go Hebrews 10. Anyone who rejected the law of Moses died without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Now understand what Paul is saying. They already know this. They know it by the law, and he is talking to the Hebrews, and he said, you know that if, if you denied the law of Moses, you could be killed. You died without mercy. It, it only took two people to confirm that, that you were an unbeliever in Moses, amen, and you would be put to death. And herein lies what Paul is saying, the importance of believing Jesus. From the old law to the new law, this is something that is very, very, very important to God. He did not come to create a new and living way for us to reject him. Amen. And this is, this is what I'm trying to get across to people today. They have mixed the law. They, have, they still do the, the, the things of the old law. They blend and mix that. They pull it over over across the grace line and I feel like there is sin in the camp when people are doing that and I, I am convicted of that I see that very clear in the scripture and I'm here to warn you today to leave off of that old law that old law that is dead the Bible says amen that it couldn't take away sins so if you want to be part of that old law I, I say move to Israel and become part of that, but you're not going to have life, my friend. You're not going to have grace in Jesus. You can't mix the two. He said you can't put the, the new wine in old bottles. It's going to break the bottle. Amen. And we talked about that a couple Sundays ago. And, and, and if you want to hear that, you can listen to that. But I'm telling you, folks, you've got to let go of that old law. Amen. Because it, it's not what we should be having today. Amen. God is not going to share. Amen. His name. Amen. We read it, Colossians uh, 3 and 17. Read it for yourself. Amen. All in word or in deed, whatever you do, you do it in the name of Jesus. You don't do it under the law of Moses. God came and brought this, and he's not going to share with anyone. If you've read the Old Testament, if you read how God was a jealous God, if you read how God says, yea, there's no God besides me, I know not any. Amen. If you've read Deuteronomy 6 and 4, and you understand that the, the, the principles and, and, and hero Israel, the Lord our God, is one Lord, now the the rest of the world had multiple gods. Amen. And if you are backing up to that Old Testament, you're bringing Moses back into under his law. Amen. And you're partaking in those things that were, were tied to him. You, my friend, are rejecting Jesus. You are rejecting that new and living way. Amen. You are putting a priest before you if you have what they call in today's churches a man of God, a, a pastor and such is what we call them today. Amen. If you have placed anyone before you and your Savior, Jesus Christ, if you have to go and say and get, get uh, okay from them, you, my friend, are going back to the old law. You are going back to the old priesthood. You are putting man and having man to go to the holiest of the holies for you. Amen. That is not acceptable in this day of the Lord, my friend. You are violating the new covenant of Jesus Christ. Amen. He will not allow anyone in his steed. He will not allow anyone in his place, my friend. It is by the name of Jesus we stand before him whole today. He will not share his glory with no other. He said, no flesh shall glory in his presence. Amen. And I'm telling you this morning, you've got to see Jesus and only Jesus. Amen. If anyone, any man is, is pulling you aside, if any man is, is, is pulling you away from Jesus, amen, if there's anything preached, amen, that, that says that you got to come to the man and, and validate your Holy Ghost and what God's telling you, my friend, you are listening to a false preacher. 
Amen. He is deceiving you. He is also deceiving himself to believe that garbage. Amen. Because it's not biblical. It's not truth, my friend. And it's definitely not the grace of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So anyone that who rejected the law of Moses died without mercy. Let that sink in a second. They died without mercy. They got what was coming to them. There was no regret. That's what that's talking about. Amen. How much more severely do you think someone deserves to be punished who has trampled the Son of God underfoot? the grace that came and the truth that came by Jesus Christ, who in the sonship of God brought him to us, amen, that sacrifice, that lamb without blemish or any such thing, amen. Behold, the lamb of God, the forerunner John the Baptist cried and said, the, the lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world, amen. Who has treated as an unholy thing, the blood of the covenant that sanctified them and who has invited the spirit or has insulted the spirit of grace. All right. That is exactly what you're doing if you don't accept the new covenant way of Jesus Christ. And I would just ask you today, are you planted? Are you planted in the ground? Are you planted in the word of Jesus Christ? Jesus constantly said, if you hear me, you hear the Father. And this is what he was talking about. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. How sayest thou, show me the Father? He said, that words that I speak, they're my father's. I am in he, and he is in me. Amen. Praise God. And, and I tell you this morning that, that we must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Amen. Or we cannot see. Amen. And we cannot enter the kingdom of God. We must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Amen. Praise God, praise God. He came to save his people from their sins. Amen. He came to his own, and his own received him not. Amen. You, you, you cannot come to God. You cannot come to the Father, but by Jesus Christ. Amen. And I, I admonish you, I, I implore you this morning, that you must, amen, come through Jesus. Amen. There is no other way praise god there is no other way if you want life my friend you are going to have to come by jesus christ amen there is no other way amen there's none other name given amen and 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 we have to choose life today amen be a part of his harvest praise god and again he is the i am amen he is the way the truth and the life amen and no man cometh to the Father but by him. And, and we have this confidence, praise God. We have this confidence. We have this persuasion, amen, the Bible says, that in him we can do all things, praise God. As Joshua said, is, is choose life. Amen. Choose life. I call to heaven and earth to record this day against you, Joshua said that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. And that's what I'm asking you. That's what I'm imploring for you today, that you have to lay aside every sin and the weight that doth so easily beset you. You have to believe in Jesus. Amen. You cannot share your belief to man. Amen. He said, let every man become a liar and let God be true. Are you doing that today, my friend? Is those around you, are those that are instructing you in the Lord, are they leading you to Christ or are they lifting themselves? Amen. I'm telling you, it's being preached today. 
Amen. I, 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 I know it's being preached today that if you got something from the Lord, you need to run it by your pastor, that man, and, and, and validate whether it's of God or not. He is coming between you and your Savior. Amen. And if that's you, if that's the congregation or the circle that you're around, my friend, you must reject that. You must rebuke those, amen, that would try and put themselves before God in your life. Praise God. If you so much as have the Holy Ghost, amen, if you have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and have received the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongue as the Spirit of God gives the utterance, amen, if you have become a son of God, amen, if you are living a holy repentance life, amen, God is in you and he is your hope of glory. No man should ever get before you. That old law, that was done away, praise God. Amen. A new and living way. Amen. The, the apostles in Acts 15 and 24, read it yourself. Amen. Uh, they, they, they not asking anyone to be circumcised anymore. They're not asking anyone to, to, to honor the law. Amen. But the grace amen, of Jesus Christ this morning. And I asked you today, have you submitted to Jesus? Amen. Many come to Christ and they fall away. Amen. And they begin serving man. Amen. And that's where we go wrong. We have essentially backslid. Amen. We need to go back to Jesus, amen, and we have to make him number one. And those that would, would trouble you, the Bible said, that we should let them know, amen, that they are in error and that you will no longer be listening, amen, to that. You will be following the Spirit of the Lord God who is guiding you, amen, who he said that would, would comfort you, amen, who would be your peace. He would be, amen, that, that teacher, Amen. That would bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever he has said unto you. Amen. That is who they are being led of the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. Amen. So that's who we must follow today. I say follow Jesus. And if it's not Jesus, you need to find Jesus. Amen. I don't care how long you've known Jesus. I don't care when it was or, or whatever, but you've got to get back to Jesus if you've walked away and you've allowed man to get between you and your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I just want to pray for you this morning, and I just ask God, open the hearts, open minds and ears, O oh God, that, that people can see, God, that people can hear, O oh God, your word of truth, God. And Lord, let us know, God, that there is none other name under heaven among men whereby we must be saved than that name of Jesus, the name above all names, amen, the name that can save us from our sins, hallelujah, amen. And I would just say, God, that you would move in families, God, those that have needs, God, today, that the need, God, uh, uh, for, for money, God, or, or, or health, Lord Jesus, and, and we do, God, we we. we we again, Lord, ask you right now, Lord, that you would touch, God, those, God, that are sick, God, and afflicted in their body. God, those that would be tempted, O oh God, above their means, God, we ask that you would give them, Lord, your spirit, God, of salvation, the Holy Ghost, Lord. God, that they would obey the truth, God, and seek after you while you may be found, O oh God. And we pray, God, that we will be found looking for your coming, Lord, in the day, God, that you ch so choose to bring us all back to you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you have uh, prepared uh, mansions for us, God. And we thank you, Lord, for, for your, your word, God, your truth, and especially your grace, Lord, in this day and this hour. And dear Jesus, we're going to give you the glory and the honor and the praise. And thanks again, everyone that has joined us today, uh, Northern Jesus Name Ministries, uh, would like to welcome you if you're not on lead, following us on Facebook. Uh, but follow us and, and follow Jesus. That's, that's who you really need to follow. Follow Jesus. We're, we're not out to get any glory or, or credit. We want Jesus to be your, the apple of your eye. Amen. God bless you today for joining and hit, listening to this stream. And, and if you're, how, you have any questions, if you would like a, a Bible study, uh, personal one-on-one -on -one or whatever, you you reach out, message us. We will be more than glad to take the time and work with you and, and help you come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. In 